Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd Bowen from SittingPosture.com. Welcome to today's video, Computer Posture Mistakes and Fixes, episode 29. Uh, quick note, I talk about good habits that have helped me live a higher quality sedentary lifestyle. My content is not medical advice. It's based off my experience and my opinions. Uh, do your research, make good decisions, and be the best advocate possible for your own healthcare. With that out of the way, let's look at this picture of the spine today when we're talking about the spine. Uh, this right here is the natural curvature of the spine. It's an example of it. Uh, it can see that it curves up here through the upper back, which is called the thoracic area. And then it curves the opposite direction down here in the lower back, which is called the lumbar curve. So uh, it's best that we sit with this natural position as much as possible. Um, when we start to slouch forward, that's when we lose this natural position and we don't sit with the curves in the spine. Uh, let's take a closer look at some examples of disc degeneration. Um, so you can see this is a slight degeneration here. I've got some of this going on um, uh, in the past. I've corrected uh, pretty much my posture since then, but my, my poor posture in the past caused uh, normal disc degeneration, stage one, uh, degenerative disc a little farther along, uh, bulging disc really starting to get into trouble here, herniated disc, and you can see that it just gets worse. Um, so that is what happens when we hold our spine in a compromised, uh, vulnerable, vulnerable position uh, when it's not including those natural curves. Um, and here's an example of it here, slouching forward. This is a great example. He's actually looking kind of up at his monitor also. So it's like two, it's like hitting him two different directions. It's like pulling him in two different directions. He's, he's slouching forward and down, but then he's looking up. So this point right here is like, this is going up and this is going down. Uh, so anyway, that causes a lot of pulling and tearing on those discs and ca can cause uh, spinal disc degeneration. So what we wanna try to do is sit like this with the natural curves in our spine, a nice neutral balanced spine as much as possible. Not all the time because Sitting or standing in the same exact position for long periods of time, even if it is with great posture, can cause repetitive strain and overuse injuries. So we also want to try to avoid that. However, um, this position right here is much, much more beneficial to be in as opposed to a slouch compressed uh, position like this. This is just going to uh, cause pain uh, and injury much, much quicker than something like this would. Uh, and one last picture I want to talk about today. This is one of my favorite pictures because I used to make this mistake for a long time. I used to sit on a wallet in my back pocket. I used to keep my wallet in my back pocket um, and it caused all kinds of issues. Um, you, this is a view from the rear uh, of a person sitting down. You can see that curve in that spine, even if it's just a little bit, it throws off that pelvic bone uh, and those hips. Uh, if it lifts it up just a little bit, you know, that's one thing, but to sit there for long periods of time, eight hours a day, uh, 40 hours a week, etc. That's where we really get into trouble is sitting in stuff like this. So from a rear view, uh, someone sitting at a computer should be pretty much symmetrical, straight up and down, left and right. The only difference is the mouse, right? With the right arm, you go in and out from the keyboard to the mouse, keyboard to the mouse. Um, but from a rear view or a forward view, everything else should be pretty much symmetrical. Uh, otherwise, because if you lean to one side or look to one side, if you hold that for, for many hours, uh, that could uh, very easily cause some kind of imbalance. You're shortening a muscle on one side of your body. The opposite muscle on the other side of the body is being lengthened. They're both being overused. One's being activated too much. One's being deactivated. So it's a, it's a, it's a vicious cycle. Um, but this is one of my pictures here. Bottom line, don't sit on anything, wallet, phone, anything like that, especially when you're sitting for long periods of time. So that's it for today's video, Computer Posture, Mistakes and Fixes, episode 29. Uh, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, you're taking a big step forward in improving the quality of your life and your computer posture, and that's something definitely to be very proud of. If you wanna keep up with all my content, the best way to do that, sign up for free email updates. Uh, I have a newsletter called Computer Posture Weekly. It comes out on Fridays, and what I do is I include the link for the article that I wrote for that week as well as the two links to the YouTube videos that I posted to my channel that week. Sittingposture.com slash newsletter. That is the link to sign up for that. It's free. Um, and um, that's it for today's video. You know, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. I'll also put that link down in the description. That's what I was trying to remember a second ago. Sittingposture.com slash newsletter. I'll put that link in the bottom of the description. And that's it for today. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.